Hello, welcome to a Thursday business news report. It's now time to bring you the latest as the Nigerian Senate has passed the 2022 appropriation bill to the tune of 17.1 trillion naira as against the 16.39 trillion naira presented by President Muhammad Buhari. The passage of the bill was sequel to a report laid on the floor of the Senate and on Wednesday plenary by the Chairman Appropriation Committee, Senator Baro Jibrin. The budget was increased by 735.8 billion naira, and National Assembly correspondent Tijesu Adioye reports. Moving into the Committee of Supply, the Nigerian Senate considers President Muhammadu Buhari's 2022 budget of economic growth and sustainability. Report of the Committee on Appropriations. Presenting the Appropriation the Committee's report, the Chairman bill. Senator Barao Jubrin says the oil benchmark has been increased from $57 per barrel proposed by the executive to $62 to reflect the current market values of the oil barrel in the international market. Budget deficit was also increased by 98 billion naira to accommodate some other requests of national importance, which was not captured in the budget estimates and could not be covered by the revenue increase. The major capital expenditure, recurrent expenditure, debt service, statutory transfers remained untouched. The Senate made provision for an increase of 400 billion naira for agencies that came forward with financial reports, which also was not captured in the proposed budget, such as INEC, Ministries of Humanitarian Affairs, the National Assembly, and more. The upper chamber also made provision for 10% of monies recovered by the EFCC and the National Financial Intelligence Unit to be utilized by the agencies for their operations to strengthen their fight against corruption. Aggregate expenditure, 17.126 trillion. Statutory transfer, 869 billion. Recorded expenditure, 6.9 trillion. Capital expenditure, 5.4 trillion. Debt service, 3.8 trillion. 22, third reading taken, and the bill is hereby passed. Congratulations. The Senate has additionally approved President Muhammad Buhari's request for the environment of 276.7 billion naira to fund expenditures in the 2021 budget. After giving themselves a pat on the back for the successes achieved in the 2021 legislative year, the Senate finally draws the curtain on its activities for this year and hopes to reconvene on the 18th of January next year. Tijesu Adoye, TVC News, Abuja. And now shifting focus to the energy market, a total sum of 203.73 billion naira was made on the sale of white products in the month of July this year by the petroleum product marketing company, that's the PPMC, a downstream subsidiary of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited. According to the July 2021 figures of the NNPC monthly financial and operations report, total revenues generated from the sale of white products for the period July 2020 to July 2021 stood at 2.56 trillion naira, where PMS contributed about 99.67% of the total assets. The report also indicated a 5.23 percentage increase in the average daily gas supply to power plants in the month of July this year, which stood at 759 million standard cubic feet of gas per day equivalent to power generation of 3,250 megawatts against the June 2021 figure of 721 million standard cubic feet of gas per day to generate 3,181 megawatts. And now the Centre for the Promotion of Private Enterprise is calling for an urgent review of the current foreign exchange policy regime, which it says has become a challenge for investors to grapple with this year. The Chief Executive Officer of the CPPE, Dr. Muda Yusuf, made this known while speaking to newsmen in a press conference in Lagos. While highlighting its impact on businesses, Dr. Yusuf says, 
Currency depreciation has led to high cost of production because of the high import dependence of manufacturing sector for imported raw materials and equipment. The flexible assembly is not necessarily a devaluation. If the supply increases under its flexible exchange regime, the currency will appreciate. If the supply drops, the currency will depreciate. Another beauty of the flexible regime is that those who want to bring in forex into the economy, it's a better incentive for them to bring it in. Now you have the parallel market at 550, 560, 570. You have the official window at 413 or 412. Now, will anybody who is rational bring in foreign exchange at 412? Well, that's it on the business desk this morning.